What's going on everybody? Fedor here from 3D Print SOS. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I want to talk about clipper-based machines that are coming out now that have their own firmware and software and GUI on the screens that are also attached to these machines. I have two examples of such machines here at the studio, one of which is my trusty Chidi Tech X Plus 3. I have two of these, one at my work office and one here. I use them all the time, but they have a little bit of a quirk when it comes to Z offset and that's what this video is going to relate to. Since this has its own screen that runs its own user interface and its own uh, essentially clipper instance, the way that it likes to do the Z offset it's through its own screen. It walks you through it, it helps you use the piece of paper, it sets it in a slightly different way than clipper typically does if you were let's say doing it on the uh, Voron Trident just as an example. If you were to look up tutorials on how to set Z offset up in Clipper, it shows you how to do it through the console uh, on the fluid front end. And that actually applies that setting, the Z offset setting, to the printer configuration, where I'm finding the screens that are running their own uh, firmware and software on them are applying it in the live Z offset area, where you would edit or tweak the Z offset live while printing in the interface. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I'm finding finding that if you did one and then the other, it goes go ahead and applies it twice. So if you didn't pay attention or didn't notice, what that's going to do is let's say you set 500 on the screen and then 500 in the software uh, on the front end fluid interface, that is actually going to add up to a negative 1000. And when you go ahead and do your next print, it is going to crash your print uh, uh, your print head into your precious PEI sheet and then you're gonna have to stop it and you'll be angry and you'll be confused and you won't know what's going on. Ask me how I know. Let me go ahead and flip the camera around and show you what I mean. All right, so here's a machine I'm currently checking out for the channel. This is a Neptune 4 Plus by Elegoo, and it is a Cartesian style machine that's running Clipper that has its own screen that runs a custom software. So as you can see right here on the screen, we went ahead and set the Z offset to negative 530. Let me show you what that looks like on the front end. So if we take a look in fluid right over here, as you can see, it is also showing negative 530 right over there. And that I call the live section because this is where you would usually tweak it while it's printing. The reason why that's important is if you were to do it through the console, how you traditionally do this, it would actually go into a completely different area. It would go into your printer configuration. Right over here, it's, as you can see, the Z offset is set to zero, zero. It would actually do it here. That negative 530 would be placed there. And the reason, like I mentioned before, if you were to still do it th the traditional way, this ends up staying here as well and doubling up your Z offset. So the PSA is if you are having trouble with your Z offset or just leveling in general on these machines, I highly suggest you do it one way or the other. If you want to use the Clipper uh, front end, uh, where, where, whether you're using Fluid or Mainsail, whichever one, you're more than welcome to use it. Just make sure you set the screen uh, Z offset to zero, zero, because they are adding that uh, live to the front end and not through the configuration. But if you want to use the screen and use the GUI uh, and do the walkthrough and, uh, and then save it, make sure you're not doing it through the fluid front end. And the best way to check is to go into your configuration file and make sure that your Z offset is actually set to 0, 0.00 all the way at the bottom of your printer configuration if you're using the screen. All right, hopefully that saves somebody some headaches and a, a print bed. And if you guys liked it, go ahead and like this video. If you guys like shirts like this and many others, check out shop.3dprintsos.com. That's my brand new shop uh, where I'm gonna be constantly adding new graphics, whether there's tees or mugs or other cool things like hats, whatever it might be, check that out. It's gonna be linked down in the description. And as always, See you guys down in the comments. Later.